Hi, I'm Melissa, aka Reds is what I normally go by. I just had my first baby girl, Jordan, three weeks ago. And she's healthy, she's doing great, feeling totally blessed, but I decided to make a labor vlog based on my experience. Um, I was not at all prepared for what was coming. I ended up having a C-section and an epidural. Everything that I was against and was not prepared for. So I wanted to share my experience with everyone and I hope that you get a lot from this video. Hey everyone, so 39 week checkup today and NST, non-stress test. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Basically, you sit here for about 20 minutes. So, Jordan passed with flying colors, um, the NST test. Then they did a cervix check. I'm one centimeter dilated and soft, ready to go. So, hopefully, hopefully she comes soon. We'll have to see. Um, so, all good news and um, looking forward to the mystery. Where are we at, Kara? We're at Skipolini's, trying to get Melissa to have this baby. Gotta get that baby out. I'm on my third piece, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping this works. Fingers crossed. Jordan's getting her music in. So, I'm making dinner right now. I made zucchini chicken with a little bit of carrots and lots and lots and lots of garlic because we gotta get that baby out. And I'll be doing this with tricolored pasta. And so this is what the finished product looks like. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Delicious tomato sauce with zucchini, carrots, chicken, tons of garlic, and onion, of course. Tricolored pasta, delish. So what have I done for my labor so far? Everything. Um, sex and a leaf tea, bouncing on the ball. <laughs> Get the baby out. Squats, um, prego pizza. I've been trying to do everything. Nothing yet. She's still in there. But um, lots of contractions and stuff, so hopefully soon. There she is. Everything and I don't really want to get induced medically on Sunday, so I'm going to try a little bit of uh, castor oil, just one tablespoon, mixed with some orange juice. Take it like a shot, and uh, I don't know, see what happens. 57% of people who are ready for labor um, go into labor within the next seven hours, so we'll see how it goes. favorite OJ. I'll probably try to mix it up. I've heard it doesn't taste very good so I'm a little bit no problem. Contraction started. How are you doing honey? So I'm pretty sure the contractions have started. It's been about four hours since we took the castor oil. 
I'm definitely starting to feel it. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see if these become stronger and more consistent. They're definitely stronger than what I've experienced so far, so yeah. Men out there that already know, or anyone that's already had children, it's about 411, and so you have to time each contraction started at 649 and um, now we've already gone to about 717 each contraction you can see here ranging about a minute and Reds is doing amazing doing amazing honey Well, you're doing great, Mama. She's uh, seven and a half hours labor, and then the epidural around two thirty, and so she's been having about I two and a half. Back-to-back -back contractions, like every minute, for like a minute long, and I just she couldn't take it, no, so she got no, no breaks from the get-go. So it was just too much. I was shaking, I was sweating, and it was just non, absolutely nonstop. It 30. went from zero to two minutes. Every two minutes for one minute long, and then every, every like minute to minute and a half for like a minute long, so I couldn't even breathe. You lost it too, you know what I mean? Yeah. What are you watching? Blooming flowers to help with the, with the opening. Dilation. And dilation. <laughs> That's it. Good. I mean, She's getting good. ready for the delivery part. Mm -hmm. Getting all done up, honey. Get my hair braided. I'm super nauseous <laughs> and um, feeling fabulous after no sleep uh, all night. And uh, well, you look amazing. yeah, just waiting for you know dilation to uh, speed up the process here. And that's it. So long. Just traffic, just things, the time of day. It could be a lot of things. Hey guys, so an update. Um, I'm at eight centimeters. And I have a lot of rectal pressure, which is good. Um, she's all the way down, her head's in the right spot. So we're just waiting for those last couple of centimeters to push. My babies. My Jordans. My babies. My babies. That's a coin. First that's. You're so gorgeous. You're so gorgeous, babies. And how are you feeling, Mama? I'm feeling better. Yeah. Every every um, hour. Yeah. She's a trooper. Mr. Jay. Yeah. She's almost twenty inches. Yeah. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? It's okay. Fing. And uh, got the car seat and everything else. And Mama, how are you feeling? Ready to get out of here? Yeah. You excited? Kind of. <laughs> Honey? She's set up and she's ready. So look at her. Good job, Jordan. Locked and loaded. So as you can see from the video, I ended up having a C-section. Um, after basically when my contraction started, it was two minutes uh, every two minutes, one minute long, until it got to like one minute. Basically, it was back labor. I had no breaks in between contractions. At four centimeters, I just decided that there's no way I can handle this for another seven and a half hours. Got the epidural, um, which I was not planning on, and that just slowed everything down. I think, um, you know, after getting to eight or nine centimeters, and then them telling me that you know, her heart rate's too high, I had to make the decision, and as a parent, you have to make tough decisions that, you know, I can't risk my baby, so I had to, I had to take the cesarean, and it was extremely emotional for me, and it was very difficult to conceive, because it's not something that I had ever 
even thought about or even thought would be possible for me. So, um, yeah, it was, it was extremely emotional. I, during the, uh, surgery, I was shaking profusely. I was throwing up all over myself from the nausea. I couldn't see her right away. Um, they took her, my fiance took her into the other room and had skin to skin with her. I can't even hold her for an hour and a half. It was absolutely traumatizing. And I feel like from what I watched and what I had prepared and researched, I was not at all prepared for that scenario. So I just wanted to share with you guys my experience because it's better if you plan ahead and you're open to wherever labor takes you. Um, just knowing that all situations are possible. On a lighter note, my fiance and I have a YouTube vlog called Project Entrepreneur, so you can watch us in our journey as entrepreneurs. We're both entrepreneurs. Um, and watch little baby Jordan um, getting older. We're on our 100th episode, and we'll give you guys a sneak peek of our new intro. Watch me. Just follow every move